So I'd like to show you and demonstrate the motor bucker. This is quite literally a motor stuck to the top of a humbucker. Now, as a guitar string moves in front of a pickup, pickup itself being magnetic, it affects the magnetic field. Uh, and that effect on the magnetic field changes the amount of resistance, uh, forwards and backwards as it were, coming down the cable. Now, inside the motor itself, this axle has got on either side a piece of metal. It's kind of like motor's version of a rotary piston, as it were. Now, these pieces of metal, as it spins, will become closer and further away from the pickup itself, therefore affecting the magnetic field. That speed, creating an oscillation, means that this is actually making a magnetic field effect oscillator. Uh, Raymond Scott did a similar thing with light when he made his first uh, synthesizers. So, uh, if we just plug that in, I've got a potentiometer underneath this knob here, uh, this is controlling the speed of the motor. Uh, so, as we see, and we get some nice pitches and noises out of that. But then, the pickup itself is connected to an output jack, and that's got a kill switch on it, or, depending on the position of this switch, the kill switch becomes a coil tap, making this uh, kind of a noisier hummier version of a pickup, uh, which can be quite nice. So, I've got this going now directly into my audio interface, and what happens here is we get the sound of the motor. Uh, not being picked up by the microphone, but by the magnetic pickup. So, that in itself is quite nice, but then it means that you can use all the guitar effects uh, in order to water the sound and mess with it. So, just for a little demonstration of what can be done, I've got here a harmonizer, and here I've got a delay pedal. So, 